Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to run a custom cascade at keythrough.ca slash cascade slash market you can find uh, the stop sign cascade and there's a bunch of them but uh, for a stop sign here uh, and that's the one I'm going to use you can buy it and download it the file will look like uh, it's a .xml file essentially my goal here is I'm going to spot um, this stop sign here and so I'm going to use the following script I've concluded in it in the description. So I'm just going to copy and paste the entire thing into a file. I already have it open. That's my stop sign cascade. That's my image. So I'm going to call it test.py. I'm going to paste it in. And so now I have to change what, what this file name. Here's acting up a little bit. Uh, I want this file name here. I replace this line with the image I want. Place this in line with the XML file. And this is what it is. And so the next line is it reads in the image, it converts it to grayscale, it loads in the cascade file, it detects um, the rectangle the items and rectangles around them, and then loops through each rectangle and circles them essentially um, and identifies which number they are. So I'm going to now open up my terminal, switch over to my, the working folder. So as you can see, I have all my files, and all I have to do is I'm, I have uh, OpenCV installed. I'll include a link that explains how to install it. I'm going to run Python and then test.py. And it did not work on that image. Hmm. And honestly, the, the cascades aren't perfect. Um, I try to make, I'm trying to train them as best as possible, but um, nothing's perfect. So I'm going to grab another image. I called the folder, what was it called? Split by video frame. I have a whole bunch of them. Essentially, what I did was I went through. Uh, longboard around, grab a bunch of images, um, and then use that as my training. So let's start at the first one here. Stop sign. I just use that one. Uh, let's try this one. And it's in my OpenCV folder. Actually, I have one here too. Um, okay, I'm going to use this one. Copy, change the file name here, save it, and then I'm just going to run the script again, test.py. And as you can see, the stop sign is circled, um, it's spotted the stop sign. And so that's how to use a custom cascade. I'm going to include this link, uh, this code in the description. I'm going to include how to install it in the description. I'm also going to include the cascade market. Um, for all you know, when you're watching this video, I've improved the cascade. I can, I'm going to upload multiple versions of it like, and slowly improve it over time. The more images, the better it gets. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.